Hello Thinksteves. So today we're going to be looking at the five types of inheritance in Python. And if you haven't caught up on the Finkster Python classes part one and part two tutorials, and you would like to, I suggest you do that first. And this will be a continuation using the code from those two um, articles, and uh, we'll be explaining the five types of inheritance. So topics we'll cover. We'll quickly go over the topic of inheritance with respect to classes, and we'll introduce the five types of inheritance that you will come across in your programming. We'll show you some block graphics that explain each inheritance type, and then we'll write some code that uses the inheritance type to return data and show how that works. And so inheritance, we use the analogy of parent and child. And the parent class gives the inheritance, the child receives the inheritance. So the attributes and methods of an existing class can be inherited. It saves rewriting code effectively. Um, and separate attributes and methods can be added to a new class and thereby you can access those new methods and attributes and still go back to the old class and extract and use those also. And so you'll see this as we go through using our grocery example from the previous classes video. So let's talk about the five levels of inheritance. The first one is very simple. It's a single inheritance. It's the one you would most likely come across and it's parent child. So the parent obviously gives the inheritance, the child receives it. So any of the attributes and methods that the parent has within it, the child is able to access. With multiple inheritance, it's multiple parents. It's not just two, it could be as many as you wish, uh, feeding down to a child or children. Multi-level, this is where you we talk about grandparent, parent, child. So. The first class might be the parent to a child, and then that child becomes a parent to another child. So effectively, you have a grandparent-parent-child analogy, as we do with humans. So multi-level inheritance, and you'll see that with the coding that we do with our grocery example. Hierarchical is what you would know from things like organization charts from a company, so there is a parent and there are multiple children. So that's very simple. And then hybrid is a bit of everything. Effectively, uh, you can have multiple grandparents feeding into parents or multiple parents they, who each feed into multiple children. So hybrid is really just an amalgam of those previous four inheritance types that we've just discussed. So let's go and do some coding and we'll show you those in action in code. So with single inheritance, this is where you have a parent and a child and the child inheritance inherits from the parent. So in this situation, you'll see that the parent is stock and if you've seen the previous videos, you'll uh, be very familiar with this code. It's exactly the code we used in the previous classes videos. And there are a number of attributes that that parent contains and a number of methods, a sell price and a sale method. The child, which we've called canned, then references stock as the parent and pulls down the attributes from stock here adds a couple of its own, and then adds a specific method of its own for canned goods. Uh, there we have instantiated a, um, an object called C298, which is a stock number for this particular item, which is uh, Campbell's Chicken Soup. And then we've called the label, which is this method here in the child, but that method accesses the sell price method from the parent. And when we run that, you can see there the label chicken soup, volume 400 mils to retail price. And so we're accessing attributes from both the child and the parent. We're accessing methods from both the child and the parent. So this is probably the most simple inheritance that you could expect to find, which is the single inheritance. 
So let's now go over to the next one, which is multiple. And if you remember, multiple inheritance is where you have multiple parents to one or multiple children. So in this case, we're assuming we still have the stock class. We have all the same code in stock, but now we've introduced another parent class as well, which is called warehouse. So the warehouse gives you a location, it gives you the type of pack that it's in, and it gives you the quantity um, of the item in that particular pack. So we have generic stock items up here, code, description, buy price, markup. Down here we have where it's actually located in the warehouse and the type of packaging it's in. And then we've created again the canned child, but this time it's referencing two parents, stock and warehouse. And we've created a stock label method within the canned child, and that will pull details from both parents. It will not only call description and manufacturer, it will from the stock parent, it will call stock location, packing, and the quantity in the pack from the warehouse parent. So there's the instantiation with all the details, and let's just pull that method here and see the result of that. And so when we've accessed that method, it's not only given us attributes from the parent stock, stock code, chicken soup, Campbell's, it's accessed attributes from the parent warehouse, and it's given us what bay it's in and shelf it's on, the type of carton or packaging it's in, and the number of items of cans in that carton. So multiple parents, one child, and there you see it in action. So that's multiple inheritance. Now let's go to the next level, which is multi-level. And if you remember, multi-level had grandparent, it had parent, and it had child. So what we've done with this code is we have stock again as the grandparents, and nothing's changed there. We've called a class meet, which references stock. And so this class is a child of stock. And we've got all the same code that we had in all the previous coding situations that you've seen. And then here we've called a class chicken, which is referenced meat. So chicken becomes a child of meat. Meat is a child of stock. So you have grandparent, parent, child. And if we come down the bottom here, we've instantiated that with all the details that it requires. And then we've called a number of methods. We've called one method from the child, chicken, and we've called stock label, and you can see that here. We've called one method from the grandparent, which is the stock, which is the sell price. And if you come up here, you can see the sell price method there. And then the last thing we've called is the expiring method, which is in the parent, which is meat. And if you look there, you'll see the expiring method. So even though you have three levels, we can access all the attributes and all the methods from those three levels through this form of inheritance. And let's run that now. So there you see the stock label, which is the method from the child, chicken. You see the retail price, which comes from the sell price method from the grandparent in stock. And there you see the price reduced for quick sale, which is the $3.72, which comes from the expiring method, which is in meat. So multi-level three different levels, but you're able to access attributes and methods from all three levels. Then if we move across to hierarchical, and if you can remember, hierarchical is just as you would expect an organization chart to be in a company. You have a parent, 
which once again is the stock, so the code stays exactly the same. And then it has multiple children. So there is canned, which references stock. We have meat, which references stock, that's child number two. And we have produce, which references stock, and that's child number three. So three very different grocery types, which are all pulling from the generic stock parent. And what we'll do with those is we will instantiate them all. So we have meat, canned and produce. We're gonna do sirloin steak, chicken soup, and golden delicious apples. And we will call the various methods and attributes from both the child and the parent and show you how that works. So you can see here we're doing expiring, we're doing label for the meat, we're doing multi-buy and sell price for the canned food, and we're doing label and sale for the apples. So let's run that now. And there we have the label for the meat we have the expiring method, and if you remember, the expiring method comes from the child meat. We had the buy two cans of Campbell's chicken soup and get one free. So that is a multi-buy, which sits within the canned child class. As a method multi-buy. We have sell price, which comes from the parent, which is stock. And then with the apples, we have label, which sits in the apples class or the produce class. And we have sale, which comes from the parent or stock class. And so those three children have access both their own methods and attributes and their parents' methods and attributes and it's all worked seamlessly. Now the last type is the hybrid. And if you recall, the hybrid is effectively an amalgam of the four other types, a single, multiple, multi-level and hierarchical. And so what I've done here is I've uh, once again put in the two grandparent classes that we had in the multiple so we have stock which is the generic stock code we have warehouse which is the lo locations and packing types in the warehouse they both flow to meat and meat is obviously the child of stock and warehouse and there's a couple of methods in there. And then from meat, we've flown three different meat types. So we have chicken, we have pork, and we have beef. And in that way, we've instantiated chicken, pork, and beef. And then we've done calls on the stock labels. And using those calls, we've shown that you can not only access the methods within the child, you can access methods in the parent and methods in the grandparent, particularly the sell price method you see here, which is coming from the grandparent. The label is drawing attributes from the grandparent warehouse, um, as well as attributes from the child. So let's do that. And you can see here, it's printed the label. And so it's pulled the generic details from the description. It's got expiry and weight. It's got the location from the warehouse and the packing from the warehouse and the retail price, which it gets from stock, the grandparent. And it's the same for all of those three children. So hybrid can be whatever you want it to be. It literally means that as an amalgam of the four. I've just shown you one way that seems to work with the grocery system. You will possibly find others. 
So let's just go back to our slides and we'll run through those types showing you the blocks again. We have single inheritance, which is parent and child. We have multiple inheritance, which is multiple parents and could go to multiple children. In this case, we did it to one. And in our example, we used the generic stock and then we used the warehouse and we're able to combine the two into the child. We use multi-level, which is grandparent, parent, child. So that was stock, meat and chicken, if you recall respectively. Inheritance hierarchical, we had the three different types of grocery product. We had meat, canned and produce. And then with the hybrid, once again, these two were stock, warehouse. That came down to meat and from meat we had chicken, pork and beef and we were able to print labels and pull data both from the methods in the children, the methods and attributes in the parent and the methods and attributes from the grandparent successfully in all cases. So in summary, we quickly recap the topic of inheritance with respect to classes. We introduce those five types of inheritance that we've just spoken of. We showed you those block graphics that explained each inheritance type and then we quickly wrote some code that used each inheritance type to return data and show how we were able to reuse code and reuse attributes through multiple levels of inheritance successfully to return the information that we required. So that's it on the five types of inheritance. I hope that was useful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next article and video.